Hello everyone, welcome to Elementor Pro series. In this series, I will explain about all Elementor Pro wizards. Not only that, I will show you how easily you can create really cool options using those Pro widgets. In this tutorial, I will show you everything about the main widget. Also, we will create those cool sections using this awesome widget. I am Fahd Ahmed with you, the instructor. Let's get started. By the way, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get that from the link in the description. And trust me, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you will be missing out on a lot of things. And as you are learning Elementor Pro from me, I also have a special gift for you. So check out the description. Alright, so this is the main widget. Let's first have a look what options we have for this widget. At first we will drag this into here. So here is our menu. By default here is the main menu. If you want to change the menu, go to the dashboard and create a new menu and select the menu from here. You will see this into here. Okay, at first here is some option layout. You can change the layout from here like horizontal or drop down. Here is the icon. If you click this on, the menu will be appear. For now, I am selecting the horizontal. Align, you can set the alignment. Left, center, right, or stretch. For now, I am selecting the left. Pointer, here is the point item. You can change this one, like overline. The border will be top of the item. You can also say double line. You can see the double border. If we hover over this, you can see those effect. You can also select the framed. This will be boxed. You can also select background. Here it is. You can also select the text. Here is only the text and the pointer will be in different color. I am selecting the background for now. You can select the animation from here like swipe up. Now if you hover this, you can select the hover animation and shrink. It will be like this. Okay, I am leaving it for now. Here is sub menu indicator. This one has sub menu three items here is the sub menu indicator we can change it this one angle like this or the plus icon i'm selecting this one for now okay now here is the mobile option here is the breakpoint tablet if you go to the tablet mode you see here is a hamburger menu if i change it from mobile device you will see the menu here and go to the mobile device then you will see this hamburger menu for now I am selecting this from tablet if we click this one you will see the menu is not full width if we click this one full width this menu will be the full width menu okay I am selecting this for now here is also some options aside center here is toggle button if you select the none the toggle button will be gone and the simple menu will be here we don't want this so i'm selecting the hamburger menu okay now we'll go to the style tab here is more options typography you can change the font size You can change the font family from here. You can change the font weight like bold or normal. You can change the text transform into uppercase. You can change the line height. And you can also change the letter spacing. Okay. As text color, you can select the color from here. I'm selecting this one okay here is the padding horizontal padding here is the vertical padding 
space between those items border radius i don't want this okay now go to the drop down here is the drop down menu options you can select the color i am selecting this one background color i am selecting this one see how it look we can change the hover color text color will be this one and background color will be this one now if we hover this we can see the effects now we can select a divider solid the color will be white and we will select the low opacity okay border width will be one pixel now if we hover this we will see a divider between those items okay now we'll go to the toggle button if we go to the tablet version here is the toggle button we can change the size we can change the border we don't want border border radius you can change the color from here like this and the background color will be this okay then here is the advanced tab you can set margin from here padding from here you can also increase or decrease the jet index you can add a class id then here is motion effect you can add a background like this one or this one or this you can add border like solid 10 pixel color will be red border radius zero okay this way the main widget works cool now let's create a few cool sections using this widget so you would get a better idea how to use this widget in real life and before moving forward make sure you like this video and subscribe into this youtube channel otherwise you may don't find those valuable videos on your home feed next time so make sure you have liked this video and subscribe into this channel now let's create a few section using this element at first we will delete this one now we will create a nice header using this main widget okay we will drag it to here we'll click this icon we'll make it full width now i will duplicate this column and i will delete this menu from here here i will add a image this one here is our logo now we will decrease the column width like this okay now we will make it vertically middle and this one also vertically middle now we will edit this menu we will make it to align right so here is our header we can set a background here like this one then we will add some padding at top like 15 pixel and bottom 15 pixel we will change the logo white okay now we will go to the menu edit icon we'll go to the style tab we will change the text color like white or this one we will go to the hover we can also change the hover color like this one and the pointer color also this one active hover color this one and the pointer color this one okay now we will create a new section here we'll make it full width we'll set a background like this one we'll go to the layout then set the minimum height of vh we'll set it 100 vh okay then you can go to the style background position center center attachment default repeat no repeat and size will be cover we will drag a heading here we'll change the text
okay we will make it center go to the style tab text color we will make it black now go to the typography font size we can change the color red okay typography we will make it 900 we will change the font family poppins now we want this header in front of this banner so we will go to the section edit icon we will remove the padding then we will go to the layout minimum height we will set it 100 pixel go to the style we will remove this background color then go to the advanced we will set a z index 1 then we will go to this edit section we will set a margin top minus 100 pixel this way now we will go to the style we will set a background overlay here we will select a color like this one we can increase the opacity okay i will show you something more interesting we will duplicate this one and we will drag it to here and we will also duplicate this banner for that we will go to this one we will set a margin now duplicate this yeah is duplicated we will drag the duplicated item into here now let's fix this okay here it is we will click this one go to the advanced margin 200 now we will click this and we will remove this margin from here okay go to this one remove the margin from here change the logo so here it is we can do something interesting we will click this one and we will go to the advanced motion effect from here you will see a sticky option we will select it top now if we scroll this one you will see the menu is sticky when I am scrolling but it's transparent we will set a background color here go to the style color white this is it you can also change something like here menu icon you can select it a drop down look here it is if we click this you will see the menu will be appeared we will click this full width now click this one see how it's working now we will align the toggle icon into right style toggle button color will be this one and background color will be this one now we can increase the size of it we can increase border radius okay if we click this you will see the menu and click this the menu will be high okay let's make the menu responsive in tablet mode it's looking good mobile it's looking broken how can we fix this we will click this column icon we'll set the width 70 percent and we will select this one this will be 30 percent okay our menu is already responsive now if we click this we will see the menu is appear and click this for close all right so this is it for now if you want to know about all the details of other elementor pro widgets i have a complete tutorial on that i will put that link in the description also if you want to learn how to create a website from scratch using elementor or elementor pro you can check out other full website creation tutorials 
I will put this links in the description as well. And if you need any professional help regarding Elementor, WordPress or e-commerce from small minor fixing to a complete website creation, you can contact through our website. Just go to the heywordpress.com and click to the make my website button. It will fly you to this page you might be searching for. Here is a simple form just fill it up and click to the submit request button we will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you soon.